Okay, welcome back from another vlog. Today I have our club road race championship, so we've got like a 70 kilometer handicap road race that we're gonna be doing. I have chosen, even though it's kind of windy, I think it's about to storm and about to rain, I'm gonna run the 80s today. I do have a 50 in the car just in case it gets too windy, but I'm gonna see how it goes. Put them to the test. Like last week I rode them on Tuesday for the club race, and I was riding out there and it was pretty windy. And the front wheel was kind of like, banging around like I was almost too dodgy to even be able to pull out my phone with one hand but then when I was racing on them and you get them up to speed and you're sitting at about 40 plus k an hour they seem pretty good just still gotta hold on a little bit more than if you're riding a 50 but yeah still pretty sturdy considering they're almost 90 millimeters in depth the old foil f88s um yeah so I'm about the race starts in about an hour and I'm about 40 minute ride from there, so I should probably hit off. It is the next day after the race. The club race last night didn't go to plan. Uh, obviously, my legs, I don't know, they just didn't recover. I did like school athletic teats uh, last week. No, yeah, like last Tuesday or last, no, sorry, last Friday. And it was Tuesday night race. And yeah, it took a big toll in the old hamstrings. And I did like an attack at the start. And now just wasn't going anywhere. So I sat up, waited for the, waited for the group. And then yeah. Got caught, just sat in for a bit, did some pulls. It was pretty pretty windy, so I did end up taking off this front 90mm wheel and putting on the 50, which was did end up being a pretty pretty good idea. Um, but yeah, then just blew up, trying to get across to another break, and then that was basically my day over. Okay, so basically the essence of this video is to look at riding on these 19 millimeter tubular carbon wheels so I've had these for a good two weeks now and I've basically been riding them the entire time other than last last night where I took the front off but I still rode the back and then had the 50 on the front because it was fairly fairly windy out on the way to Martinborough um, there's a race this weekend and which is like a PMP race which I'm probably going to do on the Saturday 
So I'm probably going to roll these again to just get, give them another test. And just the sound they make in the Peloton, right? It's almost worth the money completely. You're just rolling along, even without putting that much power on. You're sitting at 250 watts and they just... That's just worth the money completely. And basically they make your bike just look completely badass. Like I had a few people come up to me from the club just saying like that is an incredible looking bike. It's just an absolute sexy beast. Which yes, Jerry is looking quite nice with the 90s on. And then uh, tomorrow I have the time trial which I do a bit. So I'm going to put these 90mm wheels onto my TT bike which is not been ridden for quite a while so yeah i'll chuck those on there tomorrow and see if we can do another sub 30 like i did in a video like a month or two ago so yeah we'll go for another sub 30 if max is up for that tomorrow and yeah that's the end of this video obviously if you want to get yourself a chapter 2 bike the link is in the description i still bloody rate these bikes and i absolutely love terry and jerry which i have had and if you want to get yourself a set of these massive mags or even some 50s or some 60s and I think they do calm down and I think they do 30s as well obviously in tubular and clincher head uh, down into the description go on to www.foilwheels.com and we'll hook you up so all of that stuff is in the description if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up um, hopefully I'll make that TT video tomorrow and then this weekend I'm trying to be a bit more regular with my uploads this year so see how I can do on that but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and subscribe.